What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys can appreciate this because uh, this actually ended up taking me quite a bit of time to, to dig all this out and sort of put everything together. So a little bit of an undertaking. So I hope you guys can enjoy the video. Today we're talking about my, uh, I guess you could say vintage toy box. My uh, toys that I had from my childhood, dug them out today. So you guys could have a, at least a closer look at uh, what the older generation, I guess, would play with when we were children back in the uh, mid to late 80s to, uh, I guess you could say, early 2000s. So starting off here, we've got uh, the He-Man action figures. So He-Man was a animated TV show that uh, I guess was on the air from the mid to late 80s. And as you can see here, uh, the detail is just exceptional, especially on this uh, you know, this vehicle here, unbelievable. I don't think you would get this kind of craftsmanship on today's toys that the children have of today's youth. Uh, so I'm pretty sure he's from He-Man as well. I've got two Skeletors here for some reason, three of them. <laughs> and you can see everybody, oh, most of us had these, uh, these giant beasts, these tigers as well. Got a couple of them. You can see the detail on this Skeletor. He's got the uh, the staff in his hand. He's got the dragon on his back, which does it does operate. I'm not going to uh, to move it around right now. And uh, you can even see uh, when you would play with these action figures, uh, the piece, the peripheral in their chest would move. So you can see it's like you can see his uh, kind of like his breastplate. And then you know if you if you, uh, if you banged him up, it would get all damaged. So, real cool detail on these action figures. Again, not quite sure where he came from, but yeah, un unbelievable detail. And on this guy here, you could pull out, there's a piece behind his head and his eyeballs will pop up. So, real cool. Let me show you the, uh, the second set of uh, figures that I have for the He-Man set, and then we'll move on to the next uh, lot of toys here. All right, so just to show you the last couple of figurines I have here from the He-Man lineup. Pretty sure he's from He-Man. You can see this guy's got uh, almost like a mossy, furry exterior, which pretty cool, but obviously it's deteriorated quite a bit, not only from me playing with this as a child, but obviously, uh, you know, this is over 30 years old. Pulled him out of the box and one of his legs actually fell off. You gotta, you gotta understand, all these plastic materials and uh, the rubber, it does deteriorate over time. And a lot of these older action figures, uh, you know, the pieces that connect their, their legs and arms together, very elasticy. and after a while, it's hard to get these characters to actually stand up. Like this guy here, his legs, you can see here, his legs are absolutely just jacked. <laughs> Same with this, this character back here. Now what's cool is you don't, I don't see this one too often. This is the, uh, the purple variant of the, uh, the large tiger figurine. You know, he's got fur on him as well. He might actually go with this guy, I'm not 100% sure. And then you've got this guy up here as well. So real, real cool detail on these old figurines. Uh, I do, you know, see the, the difference in quality. Uh, well, maybe not this guy, but the build quality in some of the older toys uh, versus what the, the kids of today's generation are getting. So anyways, let me uh, move on to my next set of toys I wanna show you guys. Ah, okay, so these guys here. Funny thing is, I, for the longest time, I didn't even know where these guys came from or who they were. And I posted a picture on my Twitter account today, just mentioning I was gonna post this video. And uh, a guy that used to follow me on YouTube, he still has Twitter, uh, J-Rock, he's like, oh, I see Brave Star. So <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? So uh, I went online and looked it up, and yeah, it was a cartoon that was on from like, I don't know, 87 to 88, 89. And uh, I don't remember it. I, I don't even think I watched it. I think my parents just bought me these action figures. So yeah, you can see the, the main, I guess, protagonist here. I still have his hat. The hat can be removed. And then this guy here, what's funny about him is he's got this, uh, it's powered by uh, AA batteries. I don't know what it does, to be honest with you. Uh, you'd put the batteries in and then you'd press this button, but his backpack is, so cumbersome that you can't actually stand them up normally or he'll just fall down, so. <laughs> so, 
Not much to say here. Uh, apparently this was a cartoon that I don't remember watching. So let's just move on to the next set of toys. All right, so we're getting to the meat and potatoes of the toy box here. Obviously, I don't need to explain to you guys what we're looking at here. Now with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, maybe you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I do believe the first movie that came out in 1989, I think the movie preceded the cartoon. I'm not sure, but it's just funny because my favorite turtle out of them all was uh, Michelangelo and he's the guy that's the most beat up because I played with that toy the most and then you got this guy here he's in pretty good shape I can't get his belt back on because again the rubber over time deteriorates so if I try to force it on him it's probably gonna break the molding uh, this guy I had to look him up here but he is a, a Ninja Turtles action figure as well. Uh, Banana Gorilla, I think is his name. He still has his uh, peripheral in his hand as well. Really good shape. And uh, obviously Splinter. This is either Bebop or Rocksteady, I'm not quite sure. But I think uh, maybe the more obscure piece in this collection, I don't know if it's obscure, would be uh, this one right here. Because I, I think I could be wrong. I think this is from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the third movie. I, I could be wrong, you guys can correct me below. So these action figures, they're by no means rare. Uh, every child had these growing up, but uh, I just wanted to show it off. I still have them in the collection. They're by no means in, uh, in mint condition. Uh, I would say out of them all, uh, the one back here. Because this guy is so cumbersome to move, like his pieces and his arm and everything. It would be like a, an action figure you wouldn't really play with that much. Uh, same with this guy as well. All the extra armor he has on him and everything. I don't know. Whereas these guys, these were the these were the original ones right here. So yeah, pretty cool. Those are really old as well. We're talking like early 90s, like 91, 92. So anyways, let's uh, let's move on to the next set. All right, so I just want to quickly show off these two action figures. Interesting to note, uh, you can see on the Joker here. His foot is actually broken, so womp womp. But these two action figures here, I'm not quite sure. I guess they're from the cartoon, but I wanted to show them off. That's all I have for Batman action figures, but uh, yeah, these are these are pretty old as well. You know, this might be from the 80s as well. These could even be, you know, caricatures from the uh, Batman the 1989 movie. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. I just wanted to show you guys these. All right, just a couple of randos, a couple of random action figures. I honestly, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'm not quite sure where this guy is from. Maybe you guys can leave it in the comments below. Same with this guy, not 100% not sure. I am almost positive this guy here is a G.I. Joe. I, I'm almost positive. And again, I don't know what the hell this guy is or where he came from. <laughs> All right, so this is arguably probably the coolest action figure I pulled out of the box today. And again, I don't know really, you know, that where this guy originates from. Maybe you guys can, can leave it in the comments below. I don't even know if that's actually his helmet. I put that on there, found it in the box. But uh, I just want to show off, you can see the, the holograms here. I mean, come on, that's sick. Like, look at him, look at his face. So, I don't know. Let me know if you guys recognize this guy, but I, I thought it was pretty cool. All right, so moving right along here, just want to quickly show you guys these four guys at the back. Uh, I'm not quite sure where they came from. So you got this weird looking toy here, this alien. This one looks really old. And then again, we've got this uh, sort of action figurine guy with moving parts and, and this guy here as well. But the main focus here is these ones up at the front. So these ones don't have any moving parts and uh, you know, kind of like, I guess today's Amiibos. I can't remember what toy line lineup these, these characters are from, but I have several of them and they're quite detailed to be honest with you. They look really cool as you can see. So if you guys recognize these, uh, feel free to chime in in the comments below because I honestly cannot remember where these guys came from. All right, so as you can see here, this is probably the, uh, the crown jewel of the collection. Uh, we've got some figurines. I wouldn't even call them action figures. Uh, coming from the movie here, the Gremlins. And uh, what's interesting to note is these are made out of like a nice solid rubber. 
And although I've had these, you know, since I was a child, uh, you can't even tell that there's been any play with these any wear and tear. They're just in phenomenal condition. And uh, I imagine these are probably worth a pretty penny if you were to look these up online. I know of a guy that I used to follow on YouTube and he had uh, a set of these as well. So yeah, these are definitely conversation pieces for sure. Uh, I would never get rid of these. Uh, I don't really care about the other toys in the toy box as much as I do with these. Uh, again, nowadays uh, you guys have, uh, I guess, the Amiibos. These would be what we had in comparison to Amiibos back then. I don't think you would really be playing with these toys as much as you would be just sort of staring at them. Staring at them in awe, so. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. I'm really happy to have these in my collection. Uh, so let me just wrap things up. I'll show you the, the rest of the toys and we'll wrap this video up. Okay, so this doesn't need any introduction. Yeah, this was a big fucking deal when this came out, when these action figures came out in the early 90s. I, like most other adolescent males, was into the Power Rangers. We all watched the TV show. We all loved it. Now, when these toys came out, man, they were hard to get. And, uh, you know, unless you were around back then, you probably don't recall, but... There was actually like, I swear, I think it was limited. You could get the green Power Ranger and everybody wanted it for Christmas and nobody could find it. It was like the chase piece of the holiday season. So yeah, I've got the Red Ranger. Uh, obviously these are, you know, top quality action figures. Uh, I can't remember who made them. I don't know if it was Bandai. Uh, but yeah, these are, oh my God, these are, I, I, I imagine my parents probably paid a pretty penny for this. So obviously this is the Red Ranger, but uh, I'm missing his, his peripheral, his little gun. But yeah, top notch, like just unbelievable, unbelievable build quality. And you, you best believe we were playing these on the schoolyard and, and having a blast with them. So just a very iconic action figure from the early 90s uh, from a very iconic television show. All right, so we're just gonna wrap things up here with the last set of toys. Now, obviously, you know, growing up in the late 80s and uh, 90s as well, Hulkamania was running wild over pretty much all of us. So as you can see here, uh, I had, and I wanted to show it off on video, but I couldn't find it. I had a Randy Savage action figure as well. Now, what's interesting to know, this one here is actually kind of like a paper clip. Pretty crazy um, but yeah this one here and, and, and more specifically this one here this was like early Hulk Hogan like this was like fuck this was like before he became really big uh, you can tell it's just really an odd looking action figure whereas this one here now like everybody had this action figure this is where he was just like you know running wild over all of us and obviously Hulk rules on the shirt this is one of the best action figures you can get as far as uh, pro wrestling is concerned like just look at that it's funny like, he, he's probably in his 30s here but man does he ever look old <laughs> but yeah awesome action figure you know just the right build on him as well like this this doesn't this looks like more like a he-man action figure where this this looks like yeah this looks like hulkamania <laughs> And then of course we've got uh, a lone Transformers toy here. You can see uh, the back piece sort of flips up as well. A real popular cartoon in the 80s and the 90s. Real cool toy lineup as well. And then this, this may have came out of a vending machine. A lot of us, again, growing up in the 80s and 90s, a lot of these toys came from a vending machine. Uh, again, it's another gremlin. You can see there's no paint on it at all. So that's why I think maybe this was in one of those little plastic capsules that came out of a vending machine. And then uh, we've got Smurfs as well, which is very a very popular cartoon as well. Again, more of a figurine than an action figure. So that's it. That concludes the toy box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of this content, I have some other toys that I can show off as well. Uh, I just found a set of my uh, vintage Pogs collection from the early 90s as well, so I can certainly show that off. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Take care.